Right, hey guys, Trevor Christian here with today with, and we're back with Evangelion episode 20. Fucking hell, I never thought I'd get to this point how slowly I was doing reactions before. My opinion the series has just gone up as the more I watch more episodes. This later half has been really good. A lot happened last episode, the creepy ass berserk scene when, it, when the Eva went absolutely on a rampage. I loved it, it looked sick, it had some really cool creepy shots, but when Eva grew like a human hand, ugh, that, that was just creepy, sh creepy as shit. But yeah, Shinji came back from running away again. Running away was a bit differently done this time, so I didn't mind it too much. Which is a bit of a shame that he ran away again. But it was understandable that he wanted the easy way out instead of dealing with his dad. And so he came back. He actually confronted his dad, which was pretty cool. And we had a little sick, sick fight scene with the Eva going absolutely rampage. And then we learned like, that armor isn't actually armor to protect the to protect the angel. It's actually there to bind. And then we've got. Asuka taking another big hit to an ego as she lost again. As we've got absolutely wrecked, she got wrecked in the episode before, I believe. So someone's going to be an angry little chick. So we're going to slowly progress through the series now. We're just learning more, and things are getting a lot more desperate and a lot tougher. Like two Evas were destroyed pretty damn quickly by the angel. So the angels are getting ridiculously strong. Maybe because it weren't, they weren't working together, they could have probably taken it down. But yeah, two of them got wrecked like it was no. Even like Tinji's Eva took a bit of a V. Took a bit of an e beat in, but it, at the end it just went fucking berserk mode, which was so creepy. I didn't expect it to do that. Um, so yeah, I went to like synchronization four hundred percent, and then the dummy plug also was a massive fail. So I'm guessing the dad's going to be salty about that because he relied on a dummy plug and it was reje the even re rejecting it. I believe really solid episode. Thanks as always, guys, for leaving comments. I always enjoy re reading your comments on that episode and hearing your guys' opinions and stuff and how you because you, you all have different insights on the episodes and it's always fun. I guess that's one one of the things I'm going to enjoy when I finish the series is watching some analytic videos about the series and stuff like that, where we get I get to hear people's point of views and takes on the series. I can't wait to see what else comes. So yeah, feel free to like and subscribe. Guys, as I do other anime, I've also started a few live action shows, which is Stranger Things and the Battle Academy. So, yeah, let's get into it. And he's like the people behind everything. Yeah, so they're both. I would manage to subdue it. Oh, God, that's fucking disgusting. I wonder what the thing looks like without armor. I wonder why it compli complies. Surely they have. Surely it could break out whenever it wants. A lot. That's for sure. Oh shit. Yeah, he's got it. It's Shinji's dad's gonna want to try and break away from him, obviously. It's like a titan. It's like an attack on Titan, he's been morphed into it. Yep. Thought it would bother. It's not the first time I've seen him really upset. I've seen him upset, but. Hey. Oh, God, that's creepy. Get deep with this, uh, where he is at the moment. So. Is it that bad? So there's a big risk for him getting that, like, sinking up to it. Fucking hell. This be so fucking trippy. I was like seeing it. That's cool, it about it. Yeah, that's actually a good line. That was a cool shot. I like the shot of images they're doing. I don't know why he has so much conflict in his mind of what he's thinking all the time. 
I always dodge the enemy there. Oh shit. So you're seeing him pretty much as the angels then. Fucking hell. I like how he's trying... How is re this is a really good way to show how Shinji's shifting the blame from himself onto others. I don't get me wrong, he's not totally in fault. That is a dick, but like his own faults, he's trying to push it on. This is a good way to show it. Wait. Oh, so there's more to his childhood than we know, then. Oh, well, they're doing experiments with him when he was younger. So they've been trying to do this from the start. Okay, so there were scientists around him, so since he's a kid. Okay, so there's more to it, then. Like, that's... It makes sense. I wonder why they... Because all the other, cause the other candidates had, like, in a school ready to pick from, whereas they just actually knew, so obviously they did some stuff to him when he was younger. I love how Ray, 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 Ray has so much character development in Sinji's mind. <laughs> and she's put a lot of influence on Sinji, hasn't she, clearly? Because he doesn't like dream of Asuka, like talking to him, but he dreams of Ray. Is there some other connection there? There must be some connection why he thinks of her so much more. Like, it's always in the mindscape, you don't see Asuka or any other character, you always see Ray. There's got so many questions about Ray, because then you have the thing where she's in the tube. You have the thing where the dad cares about uh So, like, yeah. Oh, yeah, and there's a whole, like, DNA thing I think I talked about earlier on in the season. Cause she, oh, yeah, because she could pilot Sinji's Eva. They must be related, or she's done from DNA or something. If she's in a tube, maybe she's... Biologically created, like she weren't born naturally. That'd be interesting. I don't know why this shot's very creepy. <laughs> it's like a dating game. Which which waifu do you pick? Me so any day. What? I don't know how much prepared people have been all of these people have influenced his life in all different ways. It's always fine, fun jumping into Sinji's man. It's always like a nice little, little LSD trip. <laughs> oh god, that's creepy. <laughs> Mate, I love how attached she is to him. It's fucking great. She cares about him so much. That sounded like a pretty hopeless there. <laughs> That's interesting. So you just see uh, Ray's door then. Wait, what? Okay, it's spewed out. Okay, just this close. Okay, we don't need any like super technology to bring back. Well, you need a deep mechanism to cope. Well, that means she's not been with anyone else then. Funny. Mm -hmm. Bit of both. Well, at least use a compound. <laughs> oh, it's like Miso's giving us ASMR at this moment, fucking hell. And really. Am I getting demonetized? <laughs> V 
beautiful. What? What was that thing you put on the side? <laughs> that was a a bit way to end the episode. But what was that? Oh, that was an interesting sexy. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Not with Sinji's Mindscape then. The most complex thing in this entire show. I like how it does show it though. Like it just shows like things that we'd normally assume the character's doing. It just shows it in a way like the way he pushes blames. It's a very nice way of showing that. I'm more interested in the Ray stuff now. Like, I swear in one of the shots, it looks like the mum has short hair and Ray has short hair. I'm standing by she's biologically made. She's put in a tank. She has short hair like the mum. I'm guessing short, it looks short. She can share the same Eva as Stingy, so there's a DNA connection there, because Asuka can't do it. If it wasn't for the tank, I'm assuming she's biology made, like, they made her. She wasn't, um, I don't know if it's mentioned in the series that she was made, I can't remember it saying that she was, like, made. I don't think she's born that, um, but no, that's an interesting thing I hope they jump in too soon, because she's always in, there's always in Stingy's mind as well. And then she's got the, and then obviously the name as well, where we said if it was a girl, name it Rain. If it's a boy, name it Sinji. So that's pretty interesting as well. But no, apart from that, uh, just a lot of mind stuff going on that episode. Seeing how much Miso cares, and then that like, going over to comforting arms of, um, I forget the guy's name, is it Ouija? It's one of that. But no, yeah. And then the evil looking creepy as fuck. And then them doing some reconstruction thing, which apparently tried to do before but failed. There's a lot of background stuff going on in this episode. And then you had like his waifu simulator, who, which waifu does Sinji want. That's pretty cool. Um, and then yeah, the whole like Shindy trying to shift the blame onto his dad. I'm sure there was a lot more there, but it seems like there was a lot to catch. So yeah, I know you guys are gonna clear it up for me. But I think I got, I think I got the gist of it. Like I think I got most. Of, I don't think I missed too much. If there's anything I big blame this, please mention it in the comments. But I, don't, I think I got most of that. But uh, that was pretty interesting. I just want to know what that that was. So, but now um yeah, thanks for watching guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the reaction. Overall, decent decent episode. A lot, bit no, quite a bit there to be fair. But yeah. Oh yeah, and then we had that one scene with Asuka, obviously like actually being really upset, which was pretty cool. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Hope to see you next week. Oh yeah, there might be a delay next week, by the way, just because I am moving house, so if I don't upload it, it'll be a week after. But peace.